Hi guys, it's Anna. I know, long time no see. I've been very busy. Busy, busy, busy. Mainly in my spare time taking care of orchids. Duh. But I have also been helping for the um, vendor sale weekend that we sponsored. I was trying to, I was going to go around to all the vendors and try to make a video with them and saying how happy they were to be in person again. But guess what? I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, instead, I'm going to do kind of a show and tell what I got, and I'm also going to tell you um, later in the week what's blooming for me right now. Um, I have a lot of paths in bloom, as you see. My monster Ferianum, right there, <laughs> is one of my favorites. Um, I got it from Wade, uh, from Wade's, from Wade's Orchids. Um, uh, but yeah, let's get down to it, and I will start showing you now. So let's take a look. Here's my little repotting station, and my humidifier is going off right now. How nice. Um, so I got a couple things uh, for free. And, uh, well, not for free. I worked the, you know, Saturday, Sunday. Um, we didn't do a full show. We did just, like, a sponsored Vendor's Day weekend. Um, that way the vendors could make money. And, you know, that's what the society really wants, because if the vendors leave or go out of business, then where are we going to get all our orchids from? Sorry, taking a sip of mama's wine. Um, so let's kind of look at these guys real quick. So cute. Oh, my God. You guys, I'm so excited. I tried to buy from all the vendors. I probably shouldn't have. I spent a little too much money. But you know what? It's supporting, you know people that bring us so much joy in the world and I am so excited let's see I probably should have well I didn't grab it but anyways so let's start off with like the little freebies that I got and I also need to water these I got them yesterday I need to desperately water them so Miltasia oh geez Miltasia Charles Fitch hopefully you will not die I know how to take care of you better little guy so the first three orchids I'm going to show you, um, so let me show, Windswept in Time, wonderful grower, Windswept in Time, Edgar and Kim, lovely couple, um, she grows uh, succulents and cacti and weird odds and ends, and Edgar grows catas or catas um, orchids, and he likes the odd ends, he's been breeding with telumnias, which is fascinating, I love telumnias, I need to get back into them, I got scale on them, and it wiped out my four that I had in my collection, but now I know how to treat scale, with safari so um so yeah it's a very healthy plant so edgar uh got in seedlings or had seedlings for us um the new members that we signed up got a free plant it's common in the orchid world but if you're a new member and you sign up for a society you get a free plant just to be like hey thanks for signing up like that there um, the next one is a Kelia, it looks like, or a RLC, probably, I, I could look it up, but very healthy Kelia type. And then, I think another type of Kelia, I'm not really sure. Another RLC, oh, I got two of the same ones. Oh, well. Um, I'm probably going to do a giveaway. I'm also thinking I'm going to start a Patreon page with like a monthly subscription service. I got demonetized on YouTube. I didn't make a lot anyways on YouTube. But I basically want to start this thing where I give away plants each month. And in the colder months, I give away like uh, gift cards or something to like um, orchid places. Just like a little thought I had because I want to do some really fun things with you guys and I know I haven't been making a lot of videos but I would like to show you guys that I still care about you. <laughs> um, the next orchids I will show you, well since we're on Edgar, I'll show you the pinguiculas, pinguiculas I got. Um, this one is a really nice cross. Um, it's got, I think he said, a raspberry flower and it's got those like elongated leaves. Um, I actually have some blooming. I'll probably share those with you. And then I got this one that I actually gave back to Edgar by accident. I gave a talk on Sunday, like ask, ask me about orchids type of thing. I was so nervous, but I did, I think I did very well. So I love this little thing. 
it has kind of like a, sorry, I'm like, this kind of unique flower that's kind of striped and it's more of the rosette. I like the rosettes. Um, and none of this means anything to me right now. All I know is I like them. I killed mine over the summer. I have two left. Um, I put them outside in the summer and that is a big no, 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 no. Um, they got rot and literally I had these huge rosettes and they all fell apart. And that was awful. Awful, awful, awful. Um, next up, I will show you ones I got from Robert's Flower Supply. So these are both in spike. I've been trying to move to more miniature paths because um, where 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 am I gonna where 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 am I gonna put these? Sorry if that just gave you the dizzies, but so um, Rosie Egret. Um, it was a I believe like kind of green and pink. Um, very nice. It's got one two two new fans coming on it. So that's very exciting and a nice, strong uh, spike. I, uh, the last time I went, oh, this is Robert's Flower Supplies um, in Columbia Station on Root Road in Ohio. He is very nice and uh, uh, yeah, I like, I like dealing with him for, he does like all the supplies and stuff. He has an eBay store, but I always forget it. And I Accommodatum. Okay, so that one is in lower spike. You see it almost looks like a leaf, but that is a spike. You see the fuzzies? And um, yeah, this one's got a nice new growth, and I think another new growth down in there too. I really don't care if stuff is in spike. I mainly care about the growths that are occurring, and um, so... That's that. So the next one I'm going to show you, I am obsessed with these um, Volatulum type of orchids. This one is Path Chocolate Mint. It is going to be, I think he said it was Malapoense cross with a Volatulum. I can't remember. But uh, look how cute that is. Um, sometimes these guys are prone to rot and I paid $35 for it. Uh, so, I think it was worth it. Next, I got something I've been wanting, and Bill almost killed me because I bought it. It was 50 bucks. Um, I didn't see any that had any new growth, but he said that a lot of the time that these kind of bud out, um, the secondary bud isn't viable, but this one looked very viable. So that's a very good quality to have in a uh, path. And it's a Ho Chi Minh. I've wanted a Ho Chi Minh for a while. And I I have um, a thing now where I try not to buy online. I know it's tempting, but I try to do vendors that I know. And this is from Oakwood Gardens. I know it says something else, uh, Porter's Orchids. But it's Oakwood Gardens, Oakwood, or Oakwood Orchids in Dayton, Ohio. Jesus Christ, yeah, get your shit together. Um, I love him. Uh James or Jimmy and uh, Yvonne, his wife, and they have dogs and kitties and very cute. So then I got this guy. So look at this guy. Fowlii. 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 Okay. Anyways, this puts miniature orchids, miniature paths, basically, in the, in the book. It's a green orchid. It's a species orchid. And it is going to have the cutest little flower when it blooms. And I keep shaking because I keep moving it. But it has a new growth. So new growth coming. Always a win for me. Love new growths. And then from Mayfield Village Orchids, the guy that I was helping sell stuff, he had this Lycasty that no one bought because it was kind of damaged. Um, I'm going to give Lycasties another go. I don't mind them. I actually love them, but I killed them in the past. Like, I could hold them for, like, a season or two, and then they just kind of died. And that's that one. So, so when these bloom, um, I'll show you the paths and everything. So, but yeah, that's that one. And it's a lovely peachy kind of color. I like Ly or Lycasties. 
a lot actually. So I'm gonna give these guys a good drink and then I will figure out where the F to put them soon after that. Wish me luck guys. <laughs> Fingers and toes crossed on this one. But uh, I know I haven't made a video in a long time and I'm sorry about that. Hopefully uh, things will quiet down a little bit and I will be able to do that soon. And I can kind of update you more about what's going on with me, what's growing on. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you later. Love you, family. Bye.